hey guys, Gary and I wanted to get on here today and let everybody know that we are changing up the channel just a little bit. Just a little bit. But it's actually going to be quite a little bit. Yeah. yeah. We've been talking about it for quite some time that we needed to make some changes, kind of, I don't know, make it maybe a little bit more exciting. Oh yeah. For us and for the viewers. It shouldn't be hard to get excited, so not if you're going somewhere special. I wasn't sure where he was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So a lot of you already know that Gary has an illness, and that is why I started the channel. And we had recently done a video kind of letting everybody know about that because we've had a lot of newer subscribers that wasn't even aware of why we started the channel or his illness or anything. So recently that was posted. But... Because of his illness, he has been quarantined for a year now. Oh, yeah, at least. So he's missed out on a tremendous amount. And pretty much the only place that he gets to go is here. And that's about it. He's missed out on Disney vacations and stuff that normally he would be a part of, especially since the channel was created because of him. Joe has been great stepping in and helping out with the vlogs and stuff while Gary was absent. And Joe loves doing it, but Gary is ready to get back into the action. Absolutely. He's pretty desperate for getting back out there and starting to live again. Well, yeah. living is good. Living is good. So we decided to do a little bit of change up. We had actually been talking about it for quite some time and did a little bit of research and I was not real familiar with it. We just wanted to go someplace different. But I had said to Gary, I'm like, you know what? Why don't we do something completely different so that it's a new experience and it's super exciting? And he said, well, okay, well, let's go ahead and do a little bit of research. I had been one time out in California, but that was my only time that I had experienced. And Gary had been with his family once before, many years ago many with years his ago. family. So after doing a bunch of research, we decided that we are going to Universal, Universal Studios, Studios Orlando. Say what? In Orlando. Can you believe it? Oh, yeah, it's going to be a great time. I am super excited about this. This is going to be a great change. We are not changing to... Universal Studios Orlando. We're still doing Disney World because we obsess on Disney World. Yep. Everybody knows we obsess on Disney World. But we just thought this would be something fun and exciting and new and different. And he's been wanting to see so much of the areas. And they have a little bit more extreme rides at Universal. And he's into extreme rides. He's a thrill junkie. I hope I can make it through. <laughs> so, I think so. I was going to see all the roller coasters and and so forth uh and the food places you know i think we're gonna have a good time there's so many great restaurants at universal studios i had no idea because i've always been about disney world ever since the first trip i was i don't know just struck by the beauty of disney world it's so beautiful and so amazing we have just the best time I'm sure it's just an incredible place to vacation and just spend good quality family and friend time, quite honestly. And I've been very, uh, I had tunnel vision, I think. I couldn't really see outside of the box the fact that there's Universal Studios over there and it's beautiful too and there's no reason why we can't go. Yeah. We were doing a lot of research on Universal Studios and finally I asked Gary, I said, what would you think about going to Universal Studios? And he said, well, what do they have? So I started showing him some of the different videos and stuff. And the restaurants, the rides, the sights, the sounds, the resorts, the resorts are incredible. Yeah. And over time, I'm sure that we'll capture a tremendous amount of activity at Universal. We are still going to do Disney World. Yeah. But we just wanted to go ahead and add something new and exciting into the vlogs. So that, that way it's not just one thing all the time. Yeah. It's going to be very new to me because literally I had been one time uh, out in California. And of course I knew nothing about parks at that time. And didn't really experience rides because I thought that I didn't like rides. Yeah. 
Turns out I like rides. Everything that we found there seems so exciting. Mm -hmm. And I cannot believe how extensive the menus are at Universal because it doesn't matter where you go right now. It's not just a theme park thing. It's restaurants in general because of COVID. They have limited menus. And that seems to be the theme pretty much everywhere we yeah. go. Yeah. But it's pretty surprising to me that Universal, if they are doing limited menus, it sure as the heck doesn't look like it because yeah. they have an extensive list of items. It's oh. not just here's two or three items that you can choose from. Each place has an extended menu. It's very impressive. Yeah, we uh, we looked at their menu for breakfast. And, yeah. Uh, unbelievable. It, it, just breakfast alone, there's a lot of stuff on there. But so they it, it wasn't so just much. just uh, donuts, you know, and, or yeah. anything like that. And uh, so, yeah, it's an expansive thing on there. And I was very impressed with their menus. But so much of what Universal has, like the City Walk area, with all of the shopping and the restaurants and the sights and the sounds, the fountains mm -hmm. that's there at Universal. Yeah. I mean, unbelievable, just beautiful. Some of my favorite vloggers they just occasionally kind of throw in some Universal Studios videos. And I'll be like, wow, I didn't know that they even had that kind um, of stuff. And then the more I watched their videos, it was like, what? Yeah, yeah. And then one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, he is Theme Park Wizard. And I ended up winning a Hogwarts mask <laughs> on his channel. Okay, and it was it. <laughs> very ironic, though, because it was funny because we had already started talking about maybe we should consider doing a Universal Studios trip just to check it out. But the more we researched, the more we knew it definitely was our type of place, 100%. Yeah. And it wasn't just going to be a one and done. So we went ahead and jumped feet first, all in, and we bought annual passes. And we're going to make a lot of trips to Universal. So it's not just going to be Disney, but we're going to be exploring a lot of new items yeah. and just silly, fun stuff that I never even knew existed. And just getting a feel of it, you know, and looking at their videos and stuff that they have on there is just, uh, it's entirely different from when I went years and years ago. They have the City Walk area, and then they also have the Universal Studios portion of the park, mm -hmm. but then they have Islands of Adventure. And of course, what is it that you're looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the Harry Potter area. So it's, I knew that would be his favorite, for I'm, sure. I, I, it, uh, it's a great series of the movies onto that, and uh, timeless yeah. you know, movies. Uh, they'll never get old. And but we like the Harry Potter movies. I have seen them all. And I don't necessarily retain everything and obsess on it the way he does. He has read the entire series of books numerous times. Yeah, and I just started on the second book t tonight. So Again? Yes. <laughs> so, book two. Reading tonight. So. And he's watched the movies over and over. Yeah. And we have a 24-7 Harry Potter channel on our TV streaming system. And... And he watches that a lot. And no, it's just really, really cool. Yeah. But everything, the theming is so incredible. I can't believe the theming. Just everything. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, like you're on that set. You're actually in the movie on there. So especially like their first day being there. And uh, I'll, I'll it, you really, really are a part of it. And... <clears throat> For me, I don't know why I never really thought too much about it prior, and then it was just one of those things that I thought, you know, that's kind of neat when a different vlogger would do a, a video, and I, oh, wow, that's kind of nice. And then the more I watched it, oh, what? I didn't know that, that, what? They have that? Yeah. You know, all of the fun vloggers and the fun videos and stuff that we're seeing, and now I'm just feeling a bit obsessed with Universal Studios because I had no idea. In my mind, it was like, yeah, yeah, Universal Studios. Here's Disney over here. Yeah. You know, and I just had that tunnel vision and never really realized. And now that I've started conversing with some of the vloggers about Universal Studios and they go, oh, my God, what? You haven't done it? You've got to do it because you wouldn't believe it. I am not an adrenaline junkie at all. I don't like extreme rides at all, 
he is an adrenaline junkie and loves and obsesses on extreme rides. Yeah, yeah. One hundo. Yep. A little worried about the one. <laughs> He's kind of a nut. <laughs> what, Rip Ride Rocket? I think that probably might have been the one, yeah, but no, I think I can handle it. You um, know, I'll the... work my way up to it and know the other ones first, so... No, he'll probably run back to that one. That would be my guess. He's an adrenaline junkie. It could be. Sometimes I have to take a break from it and get, get my breath. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm pretty excited a lot of that. I'm excited about unusual stuff that we have never thought of or never tried. Typically, it's, okay, let's go to this park. Let's go to that park. Let's do this today. Let's do that today. Yeah. But with everything being so new at Universal for us, it's going to be... A, I just can't even stop being, I'm just, my smile just gets stuck on my face just thinking about it. It's so cool. Yeah. But I'm excited about weird stuff like trying out voodoo donuts. I, <laughs> I don't know That's why weird bizarre. stuff like that. I, I, I'm just like, oh my God, voodoo donuts. It looks really cool. It's silly. But no, I mean, I am I am all about the rides. Yeah. Like uh, Hagrid's, yes, hello, duh. Yeah, yeah, that'd be right. yeah, that one. I That's a must. That's got to be a must. That's got to be your first one. And right. I want to see Hagrid's at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I recently seen fireworks in a yeah. vlog. Yeah, that's a little Is that for because... real? Because I didn't even think that fireworks was happening right now. Yeah. So. It's, uh... Yeah, we found I that out. I hope that's they for were, real. Disney wasn't even doing it. So. No, they've only done little bits of testing here yeah. and there. But yeah. I mean, I heard that Hogwarts that they had fireworks, and man, I think it was a Hogwarts. Probably that they had the fireworks. We'll find out. I'm <laughs> super excited about that. Whether or not they do that is beyond the point. But but there's so much at Universal and also uh, Volcano Bay, the water park. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm excited about trying new, crazy, interesting things that we've never considered attempting before, right. never even knew existed, and checking out all the resorts and the incredible restaurants and obviously some of those thrill rides for you. For, for me, uh, I'm kind of like getting into the shopping too, so... Uh... The t-shirts at Universal are like <laughs> are really, over the top. They are amazing. Really nice. Uh, because of the theme of the park, I think that really makes a big difference out of, of how their shirts are going to turn out. I mean, yeah, because their shirts are way more extreme. And even things like the um, Halloween Horror Nights, is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. So we get tickets to that. And... I'm pretty excited about that. I've never done anything like that in my life. We did Mickey's, uh, all of the Mickey, the celebrations for the Halloween, the yeah, Christmas, yeah. all of those things. We've done those and obsess on them. Yeah. They are phenomenal. I would highly recommend it to anybody. But of course, COVID this last year, pretty much everybody has either had limited shows or no shows whatsoever, right. or... depending on where it was. One of the reasons why... I absolutely obsessed on Disney World, and that's kind of a silly thing, but for me, the magical bus, the magical express yeah. ride to and from the airport, yeah. that was like one of the best things ever, and we look forward to it on every single trip. And then I recently discovered, when I started researching Universal, hey, mm -hmm. we can get a shuttle to and from Universal Studios, too. Ta-da! I'm working Ta yes. <laughs> Ta-da! It's $40 a person round trip to and from the airport, and they take you right to your resort, just exactly like Disney does. Yeah. So not only can we enjoy Disney, but we can enjoy Universal Studios. Mm -hmm. And I know that... Uh, Disney has announced that they are canceling their Magical Express in 2022. Yeah. I am hopeful that they don't necessarily mean cancel altogether, but to perhaps do something like maybe like this where it's, okay, well, we've got the Magical Express option and maybe charge a fee of X amount or whatever yeah. per person. But... That is an amazing thing because when I go on vacation, the thought of not having to drive, not having to deal with anything, I mean, it's literally a vacation as soon as you get off of that airplane 
it's vacation mode yeah. and I don't have to stand in line and wait for my car and I don't have to deal with trying to park at the at the theme parks and at the resort and paying all those fees and everything yeah. because once I'm at the theme park I'm there yeah. boom <laughs> I am there for that theme park I'm not there to hop in a car and drive around and deal with traffic and try and find my way and nope 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 that's not a vacation to me that sounds like stress I'm gonna pass on that yeah yeah, me too. But the fact that Universal <clears throat> will pick you up at the airport and, and take you back, yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's a huge selling feature for someone like myself. I don't want the hassle of having to go to and fro. I want the convenience. Mm -hmm. It's all about convenience. Yeah, absolutely. You're paying a large fee, so... They're getting a lot of our money. Yeah, <laughs> so you want to enjoy every second. Yeah, yeah. And plus... We are getting in kind of late at night on the night that we land, and the fear of doing something unknown like Uber or something around midnight, I don't know that I want to necessarily yeah. hop in a stranger's car yeah, I know. around midnight. Mm -hmm. That just doesn't sound... And, and it's probably 100% safe, but in my mind, it just... I'm not real excited about that no, thought. So either. knowing that... Universal will actually pick you up in their shuttle van or shuttle bus or whatever it is that they have and take you right to your resort. That is amazing yeah. for myself. Yeah. I love that idea. Yeah, I love it too. So what else are you looking forward to? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, you know we already talked about the food part and, uh, uh, and, the, and the rides and things, but I'd like to just get the feel of the the park. I surprised Gary with this trip because this is going to be his birthday present. Yeah. Last year, you still got a pretty awesome present last year. I did too. You yeah. got your zero radius mower last year because Disney was out of the question for his birthday mm -hmm. because we were already in lockdown and COVID at that point. Yeah. yeah. And we knew nothing <laughs> about COVID at that time and was definitely afraid for him to leave to do anything yeah. at that point. So getting him the mower, that was kind of a fun toy. <laughs> I can't wait for the grass to grow right now so I can mow. I can wait. <laughs> Although I'm thrilled that we actually had some weather where we wasn't wearing a winter parka and yeah. <laughs> the ice has gone off of my driveway so I can actually get my hot rod out mm -hmm. for the first time. Got to drive my hot rod for the first time since about October or November. Yeah, she it would not go. Bit. It wouldn't go down the driveway because it was solid ice up until just a few days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So hopefully, <laughs> very uh, thick ice. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, weather will stay nice for us to you know, get out here and head on down there. Uh, I'm so pumped. I'm this. so excited about it more than I thought that I would be. I always am excited about Disney World. We have countdowns on our phones, and we call each other all the time. Hey, how many days? <laughs> I mean, this is our normal routine. We like to pump each other up so that, that way when we get there, it's just like we, we're, both we're excited. so excited we can't sleep. Yeah. That's us yeah. for sure, 100%. <laughs> and Joe's kind of bummed out. He has to miss out on this trip. He was going to go with us, and our dog sitter... Uh, their spouse was in a car accident. Mm -hmm. So, um, unfortunately, that that's a huge concern. Yeah. So, um, so Joe is staying back on this one, and he's going to go at a later date for sure. Oh, yeah. He'll go. But yeah. he's not obsessed about the parks like we are anyway. Yeah. Yeah. He likes to go. Um, he was, he's been a trooper, though. For the time that you could not go, he has been amazing stepping in. Yeah. And helping out with the vlogs because otherwise the channel i you know for an entire year not being able to do much i didn't want to really let the channel die because i knew eventually this would kind of pan out and and with any luck at all we would start living again yeah yeah but yeah, it's, uh, it's a struggle thankfully for everybody we are. for everybody it's scary it's, it's, it's very i'm still afraid for Gary to go on this trip because uh, it's pretty scary, I, the fear factor. Yeah, I pretty much isolated myself for a while there. and uh, But I'm, I'm anxious to go, and, you know, I'll be wearing the mask and stuff. And, uh, careful around crowds and things. I'm sure they're going to isolate people 
you know, and spread them out more. Oh yeah, they, and, there's so going to be distancing yeah. as much they, as possible. I mean, you yeah. start filling up the parks. <clears throat> there's areas where it's going to be near impossible to yeah, yeah. distance, quite honestly. But, but you just try seen, to be safe. From what we've seen, they, they, they've done a pretty good job with this on our universal. It's so amazing. So. But the rides! <laughs> Oh my gosh, the rides. I'm so excited about the rides. <laughs> One that goes up, and then you're going back down backwards. Oh, that's Hagrid's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one's going to be pretty awesome. I, I'm super excited about that, and I'm a sissy. Everybody knows I'm a sissy. I'll yeah, own she, it. You actually said you might ride that one. No, I will. I'm going on that. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going on She's that. getting braver on these roller coasters. Yeah. I don't think she'll do the other one. Oh, no. <clears throat> I'm not doing Hulk. I'm not doing Rip Ride Rocket. Um, there's a couple of them that are questionable. I can't really find enough information about it to know exactly how extreme it is. Yeah. And there's some of the 3D looks absolutely amazing, but sometimes virtual rides will make me super sick. It can. It can. Uh, just depends on how they do it. Um, well, n n well, I don't know, because even like, Flight of Passage over at Animal Kingdom in uh, Avatar, Pandora, when, I mean, we've done that ride yeah. many, many times, and yet one time we were on it, and you had me looking around at this and that while we were on the ride, and I got off of there, and I was, I felt so sick for about an hour afterwards, and I had never had that experience before. Yeah. I mean, sick. Like, I felt like, okay, find a bench, I need to lay down because it just it got to me and yet i've been on that ride so many times so i'm not really sure why it got to me that time so basically we just wanted to get on here and let everybody know that we are changing the channel a little bit yep we are and i think it's a good we're thing. enhancing the channel yeah i think it's a good thing enhancing <laughs> the channel oh. but i wanted to kind of step things up a bit and experience something else and once we do this I thought of a couple other things too, but we'll see how this goes for a while. We'll before see how this I goes for now, and uh, and hopefully, you know, this will influence you people out there to want to check into that park also. And I'm and the, super excited about it because, you know, I mean, the vloggers that I watch, obviously, they kind of got me pumped up about this. Yeah, yeah. It, that's. Kind of why we decided to do this is just watching their videos and getting more and more excited about it yeah. and it was watching their videos that made me think you know what maybe we should go check out that park absolutely but gary has been really asking for a trip for quite some time and i kept saying no because my fear factor for him for his health and he's just over it he's ready to get out there and start living again he's yeah. like yeah i'm over this quarantining stuff and i need to actually start living my life yeah and i'll still use a lot of caution as well 100 so, percent as much you know, as possible um staying away from stranger people or you know in crowds and stuff like that well I not me i'm strange <laughs> Stranger. I know it's going to be crowds there and stuff, but I think everybody's going to... Danger, stranger, danger. <laughs> but I think what we've seen on some videos of that park, um, I, I think they have a lot of respect for other people that's around them there. So, And I'm I sure they don't tolerate people, people that do. take their masks off. You know, oh, I think most people have respect. There's, uh, there's always going to be someone that uh maybe isn't just realizing that they're that close to you or something but yeah. i think for the most part people are trying to distance from one another as yeah. best they can it's not always 100 percent possible no yeah. but i i pretty much see people are trying to be honorable about that and yeah. Yeah. you know i have a lot of respect for the fact that people are doing that because yeah. um it's for somebody like Gary and his illness, it's a must. For someone like myself, I think if I got it, that maybe I would be sick. I don't have any underlying illnesses, so I don't know that it would necessarily affect me to the extreme, but there are people around me that I love and worry about that 
it could affect them to the extreme. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just, it's important. But I'm super excited about this. Can't wait. Real soon. And hopefully you guys will be super excited with us. So yeah, yeah. if you are new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe and ring bell notifications so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest. Also, please don't forget to check out some of our other great videos on the rides, the resorts, resort rooms, Skyliner rides, day trips, car shows, outdoor pizza oven videos, and now Universal Studios Universal Orlando Studios. videos. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.